Stay tuned as here's another hour-long TV show in under 10 minutes. I'm going to do something today that I said I probably would never do, and that is look at this MCX. You know, when I do product reviews, I try to base it, and I hope you do too, on my experience of over 50 years of flying just about every kind of thing you can think of, inventing, and testing, and experimenting, and teaching, all that stuff, you know. So when I say something about an airplane or helicopter, then you, you feel good about it. Uh, that I'm giving you the straight scoop because I really am trying to give you the straight scoop. That's why I make the videos. When I started making videos for YouTube, there was nobody making videos for YouTube on product reviews. There was no manufacturers. Uh, nobody had their own people. Now they have their own people. Right? So guys like us, you know, uh, try to do a few things that are a little different. Okay. People who come on and start, they learn to fly last year. And they run down and they buy a helicopter and it's because they can fly a little bit and they don't crash they say it's good i'll show you what's in the box but you know there's so many people have already done product reviews on this they don't just run out and buy the very first as soon as it hits the market and get just to get the video up to me first i think that's totally very egotistical uh and, and patience has prudence too because see this was recalled blades came off they were flying off, they're hurting people, and also uh, there were other issues. And of course, you can check the whole internet and find videos on every possible thing that could go wrong with this and fix this. So, I just got this one today. It was a gift, and uh, what, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fly it. The reason I never got one of these in the first place is because my eyes are failing. This is about as good as I can see it right here. <laughs> so, what I want to do is, first of all, I want to make my mods on it. And I want to make it so it's a little more visible to see, uh, because and, and I don't want to get a whole lot of ways. So we'll see. We'll see how good this thing really is. So I hope you enjoy it. And thanks a lot for watching. Here we go. Charge the batteries. Okay, for you guys that have played MCPXs, you know what I'm talking about. If I tell you that you've probably lost a few of these things. Well, here's how I lost a few of my connecting rods. One in ten times, it seems like something always goes wrong. Tips over on the grass, whatever, with any helicopter, no matter how good you are or who you are. And, for example, this little heli is much harder to hover inverted than my Blade 400 because the tail rotor gets washed out too easy. Then the gyro jumps in and really throws it around. And usually it's upside down in an angle that's pretty hard to see. And, uh, you know... I think that's why many reviewers have increased the length of their tail boom. That gives the motor more tail authority, especially upside down, which is easier to hover nose in than nose out, since that's the same almost as an upright hover. You can hear the tail rotor fighting the new avail, so thus the wall slammer maneuver. Well, this is too much work, so I'm going to make some major modifications as this tail rotor is fighting me. You know, it's a good indication that Horizon knows all about the missing and easily broken rods as the weak link, since it comes with four extra ones. You know, they're designed to break easily, so I guess the other parts don't get damaged. Well, what I've seen on the groups and forums, I'm not alone, so I can assure you're going to need more pitch rods. If you're going to screw around and try and do things helicopters aren't supposed to do, then you're going to need them. Well, I'm down to one left, so here's my solution. I've read that it takes lots of adjusting to find the right kind of pitch, just so that the tail rotor won't blow out. But believe me, it always will at some point. You know, nothing's 100%. And you must remember to turn off your 3D throttle hold switch the minute you crash. Otherwise, it's going to eat itself up. So here's my mods. First, remove one rotor blade. Make a counterweight. Remove the tail motor and boom. Make your own boom and tail rotor plate. Reduce the pitch settings to 60 to 65 percent high and low on your transmitter. It should be easier to fly now, so let's go see what it does. Uh, the only mods I made to the head was just to keep from losing the pitch rods. I tried a homemade rubber band super glued together and cut off. That works really well. But just for the one blade and rod, I put a drop of amazing goop on the tip and painted white marks on the rod so if they did come off, I could find it. Maybe.
Now remember folks, this is a maiden flight. I have to trim it and I was hoping that I'd have the balance right and uh, it looks fairly good. Wow, this flies great. time to figure out where I'm going to land it in all this heavy wind. There's no tail rotor on there, folks. So at least that won't hit the grass because the MCPX easily tips over, even stock. So I'm looking for a smooth spot here. <laughs> yes. Uh... Okay, let's go where there's a little more room. It's just designed for forward flight, but if the wind is blowing, it'll hover. You know, I'm having more fun with this MCPX modified this way than stock. It's easy to fly, I don't break anything, and uh, because the ETRM on the stock one blows out so easy. So if you've watched my other videos, you know I've tried one blades on all my big ones and even gas without failure, including airplane props. You know, it's fun. See, normally the things would fly off. <laughs> there we go, folks. Okay, I've made some uh, pitch adjustments on the transmitter. Let's see how it does. Well, whatever you may think about my experiments, orthodox, unorthodox, it's an undeniable that I'm having an absolute ball doing all this stuff, experimenting, exercising my brain, and just having fun. So stay tuned. As you can see here, the next day, the weather's gotten really bad now, and it's 38 degrees. My fingers are cold because I'm going to tune this thing up and show you how it'll do loops and rolls with the tail rotor motor gone. Remember, if it sounds stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs>